Hi my friends, good morning. Today is Sunday in New York City. It's a beautiful day, temperature in the 80s, sunny. I'm glad to be sharing this day with you, a little bit of it at least. Um, I'm gonna make a cocktail, it's a breakfast cocktail. I woke up full of energy because I love this weather. So it's been perfect for the last two weekends, thank God. Um, and then, okay, so let's just start. I'm gonna use uh, fish bellini. Um, if you don't have fish bellini, this uh, you can buy at the store, but uh, if not, then you can always get um, Prosecco and uh, fish snaps, and, uh, and then you can um, use that instead. Uh, I'm gonna use Aperol, because I wanna, I was thinking Aperol spritz, what can I make a, like a riff of that? So it's gonna be, um, it's very popular, Aperol spritz, as you know. So uh, this is going to be, Kind of similar but then it has like the fish flavor and it's gonna have amaro and tequila tequila is my favorite spirit um tequila and dry whiskey i'm divided my heart is split in two with those two uh spirits but tequila was my first love so i'm gonna um go with this and a little bit of agave and uh, i put these flowers here just to decorate they are not edible flowers but you can use them to stir your drink so it's a uh, I thought it was uh, a cute idea. Um, so I'm going to start with my base, which is the tequila. I have Tres Amigos uh, Tequila Blanco. All right. Not easy, okay, good. Um, so I say for two cocktails, I'm gonna use two ounces. Just because it's a breakfast cocktail, we don't wanna make it too boozy, but we also wanna give it a nice uh, kick there with the um, spirit to make it spirit forward, even though it's not gonna be super boozy. Um, so now I'm going to add my Aperol, and Aperol I'm just gonna add uh, one ounce, I think. I'm just creating this right now. Um, yeah, I think one ounce is enough. And then I'm going to put one ounce or maybe even half ounce of my Amaro. I'm gonna play this one by ear because I wanna make sure it's not too dark. And Amaro has a little, like some bitterness to it and I don't wanna make it bitter. Um, Aperol also has a little bit of bitterness. So I'm just gonna um, put half ounce of Amaro. Um, okay and because i want to make it a little sweet i'm going to put one bar spoon of this um agave syrup okay so this i have here so this is my base of this cocktail and now i'm just gonna top it off with um the bellini right here Okay, so this is gonna give us, oh, I don't know if you can see it there because I know the camera sometimes. I'm gonna do it here. This is gonna give us the bubbles that we want in a breakfast cocktail. So here we go, we top it off. And we stir. And it's a bubbly cocktail now. And I'm just going to serve it. My balloon over here. I'm just gonna serve it here in this two. Um, champagne glasses or flutes oh it looks beautiful and I hope it tastes as good as it looks all right here we go all right perfect and that's our cocktail of the day it was very simple. Let's taste it now, because it's an invention just newly created. I have a feeling it's gonna be a favorite. Let's try. I have two I'm gonna probably share with my mom, my husband, um, who knows? The first one to get to the backyard will get the other one. But for now, I'm gonna taste it. Like I said, you can use this to stir. It's a great concept. And um, I hope you enjoy it, guys. Let me taste. Oh my God, you're not gonna believe me because I know I always say my cocktails are delicious. 
but this one is probably one of my best cocktails ever it tastes so good and refreshing especially for mornings like a breakfast cocktail it's um it's like a better and improved version of um of an apparel spritz for those who love apparel spritz i recommend trying this it tastes absolutely delicious enjoy your sunday cheers much health and happiness to you all and until next time enjoy your day